Project Tanifa is a project started from Auckland Bioengineering Institute to compete in international submarine race where all the submarines from international universities and companies and schools compete for the performance. I first came across this project in the library and people were just walking past but I found it really interesting and really cool how the small submarine body can travel so fast underwater. Luckily for me, the project was open for any student to join and I emailed Supervisor Professor Ian Anderson and he welcomed me and showed me around the project. We have challenges and problems that occur during the year we like to try and find a solution to. So we were wanting to know how we can improve our Tanifa submarine and that's where the project that Min worked on uh, has come from. My role is mostly a computational fluid dynamics analyst analyzing the shape of the submarine body computationally and optimizing the shape, calculating the drags and force to do with the submarine body. I'm trying to find out how much drag coefficient changes when the submarine brake flap is attached compared to when there is nothing there to stop the submarine. He's given us some solid calculations we can base our sub design and improvements on, analysis of the hydrodynamics of uh, the submarine. If you look at the map here, this year's European International Submarine Race, we are driving straight forward for the first half of the section. You have to dodge around the poles. There is a safety net 30 meters distance apart from the finish line, and if the submarine hits the net, it will be automatically 8 volts to your submarine team. Once I solve the simulation, I get a result from the software and it tells me how much force it receives from which part of the body. From the result, it appears that by having even a tiny area of the submarine brake next to the body, it will be able to stop half the distance it used to stop without the brake zone. We originally built the prototype back in 2014, but there has been a lot of improvements ever since and I am very confident that we're gonna have a very good result in this year's submarine race.